For our next keynote, I'm excited to introduce Sonia Kastner to discuss tackling the climate crisis by detecting, verifying, and classifying wildfires in real time with the help of AI. Sonia is the CEO and founder of Pano AI, the leader in wildfire early detection and intelligence. Pano combines advanced hardware, AI, and computer vision to automatically detect, verify, and classify wildfire events in real time. Sonia will share how visual tech are at the crux of disaster mitigation solutions to help tackle the climate crisis. Take it away, Sonia. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for having me today. Uh, I'm Sonia. I'm the CEO of Pano AI. Uh, we are a growth stage company based in San Francisco, and we're a team that's made up of both technologists as well as former firefighting professionals. And we came together uh, because we saw an opportunity to leverage modern day technology to arm firefighters with better tools to combat the growing wildfire threat. And you know, being a San Francisco based company, we've all experienced the devastation of wildfires firsthand. You know, we've lived under clouds of smoke for weeks at a time. We've had friends and loved ones who have lost their homes, have been evacuated uh, from schools uh, and hospitals. Uh, and overall, tens of thousands of people die each year from wildfire smoke. Wildfire smoke emits $1.7 billion of CO2 emissions each year. And this problem is growing uh, in part due to climate change. But the good news is that there are ways that we can roll back this wildfire trend even before humanity has solved climate change. And, and that's what we set out to do at Pano. And the area that we're focused on at Pano uh, with our first product is the early phase of a fire, the time between ignition and say the first hour of fire when a fire is five, 10 acres. And that's a really critical uh, inflection point of the fire. And the traditional approach uh, is just too slow in today's conditions. The traditional approach uh, involves detection by a bystander who just happens to see the fire and calls 911. And then uh, the bystander's call needs to be confirmed by a single fire engine who drives around and tries to determine the location, severity of the fire. Most of these calls are actually false alarms and a lot of time and energy is, is wasted in this effort. Uh, and then uh, the the single fire engine calls back to dispatch to ask for support, usually from a local city response, um, which used to be sufficient, but is no longer sufficient in today's conditions. And so there was the desire uh, before Pano was founded from the firefighting community for modern day remote sensing technology to speed up and streamline every step in this process. Um, and the center uh, of our solution is a new proprietary network of mountaintop cameras. Um, and here are some pictures of some of our cameras here. Um, we have a system called a Pano Station that includes two ultra high definition security cameras. We mount them typically to an existing structure like a cell tower or a government comms tower. Although if needed, we can put up a freestanding tower with solar uh, and Starlink connectivity. Um, 5G is also a great technology solution with longer range than 4G. Um, and uh, uh, leveraging these cameras, um, we first of all do detection by rotating the cameras 360 degrees every minute and sending the images up to the cloud through uh, a computer vision, uh, deep learning inference, looking for smoke with AI. We also combine that with satellite thermal detection uh, AI. We also pull in other sources of data like 911 feeds, the more the merrier for detection. We then have a human in the loop step where we use the camera feeds um, with the Pano Intelligence Center to dismiss any false positives and confirm fires. And we then trigger only the true fires as alerts out to uh, a variety of first responders. And so we don't just push them to the local city where the fire started. Before fire season, we've onboarded a variety of agencies, city, county, state, federal, in the region, everyone who's interested, they all get pushed the notification simultaneously. And that allows them to have a common operating picture and coordinate an aggressive um, and uh, more effective coordinated response. Um, and this has been really popular, really effective. We're growing like crazy, millions of dollars of revenue. Um, and uh, we're actually at, live in six states in the US, two states in Australia, and we're just getting started. Um, and to show you uh, a little bit about how it works. Um, first, as I mentioned, the first step is that the um, the images are going through an AI algorithm. And you know, for you guys, this will look very familiar. We uh, use an object detection algorithm with bounding boxes to detect the smoke. Um, then that goes through our human loop. 
and it becomes an incident and uh, it goes into our software interface. Um, first, here's an example of what a deployment of our Pano stations look like. They have a 10 mile range, so you don't need too many of them. Um, and uh, each of these is a station. Uh, and let me show you an example of what an incident looks like. This is what gets pushed to someone's phone and email when a new fire starts. They get hit, boom, with a time-lapse video of that fire growing. That's a really powerful call to action. Uh, they also can see um, a latitude and longitude of the fire because we have an algorithm to triangulate um, the location of the fire based on a view from two of our stations. Uh, we also have a share button that allows anyone who receives the incident to create a shareable link that can be sent to any user, even if that user doesn't have a login to our platform. And this creates, really eliminates any friction of information sharing in that critical first hour of the fire. Uh, and that has proven, you know, we've gotten case study after case study where this functionality has allowed uh, first responders to pull helicopters onto a fire sooner than they would have otherwise to contain a fire at a home before it moves to the wilderness behind a home and just have success story after success story. And that's why we're just getting new customer after new customer uh, across the US and across across the globe. And um, so you know, the, just to sum it up, the, um, the solution that we've built has been designed to support a trend in firefighting that wasn't invented by Pano. This was a, a trend that we learned about as we were founding the company that we decided to, to help support through technology, which is, is called early detection and rapid initial attack. You know, there are a lot of heavy resources that were purchased for large incidents, like 30,000, 50,000 acre incidents, helicopters, planes, bulldozers. And fire agencies discovered if they pull those heavy resources onto the fire in the first hour when it's five, 10 acres, those helicopters are super effective at nipping the fire in the bud and preventing it from ever becoming a major incident in the first place. And so Pano Solution has become a cornerstone of this rapid initial attack strategy. And together, this strat, you know, Pano's tool combined with this new strategy in the in the hands of progressive firefighting agencies is really starting to roll back this wildfire trend and, and provides a real hopeful message uh, that we can live in a world with less firefighter, less wildfire destruction, less smoke in our air, and less destruction to our environment. Thank you all.